decided to do an about me video so let's just get started with that my name is destiny i am 21 i was born in february i love all colors but my main favorite is blue i have one child just recently had a i don't want to say recently but yeah he's still fresh i watch movies but like i don't watch a lot so i can't really say what my favorites are but i like a little bit of everything i do know how to swim yeah i beat the stereotype huh i already graduated high school i'm not in college right now i would like to take online courses for college just because i do have a, a child it'll just be easier doing everything from home i want to start multiple businesses of my own that's the goal my favorite food has always been mac and cheese and i love me some cereal and i like bread anything with cheese my favorite cereal as of today this very day it is captain crunch so good the one with the berries in it that hit so good i had some of that today and it was so i haven't had it in a long time so when i had it i was like mm -hmm. A chicken salad. It's, I forgot how good it tastes. I haven't had it in so long, but that's definitely my favorite cereal. Favorite food would be macaroni and cheese. Y'all know I'm trying to be a vegan or whatever, so it's going to be hard for me. But yeah, I don't really eat meat like that anyway. I mean, I do, but I don't. Not anymore. If I had one day, I could just eat meat one day. Like, let's say I want a cheat day. I would choose five guys. Can't lie. But I love me some potatoes. Potatoes are delicious. Like, all forms of potatoes. Mashed potato regular fries i love it all i just love potatoes they're so good i don't like onions and i really don't cook much but i'm learning you know i'm doing a little bit of something here and there i love fashion i love music i love writing i love singing i love clothes i love sports i play volleyball i play basketball track I don't know if I actually did track. Listen, I, I can run. I could run. I tried soccer. That's not my thing. Yeah, I love sports, though. Like, I'll watch, you know, sports on TV. I don't know, y'all. I like everything. Like, it's nothing in life that I won't. Let me not say that. When it comes to sports, I'll watch any sport. I can sit and watch any sport. When it comes to food, I can be very picky when it comes to music i'm kind of all over the place i like what i like if i hear something i'm like oh this is a vibe it's a vibe i don't care what the genre is like really in life period i do not discriminate i don't discriminate at like everything you know i like to get into everything i don't separate myself from anything because possibilities are endless when you're open to just a little bit of everything possibilities are literally endless like why limit yourself don't limit yourself i don't limit myself when it comes to anything really unless i like know for a fact i don't like something where am i going with this so i guess that's just a little bit about me i was born in michigan that's where i'm from the mitten i have dreams and aspirations my ultimate goal, I'll say what my ultimate goal is. There was a spider crawling on my jacket. Sorry, Spidey, I didn't mean to kill you. My, you can't be sneaking up on people like that. You can't be doing that. Get, that's crazy. That'll get you murked. Just like you just got murked. For real. Like, I don't know. Somebody should have told you. I love being outside. Most of the times when I record, I'll be outside just because it's so peaceful and comfortable for me being outside i've been thinking about how i want to get wealthy like how i really want to be who doesn't want to be successful who doesn't want to have access to whatever they want and i try not to be like oh i want to get rich because it's not about the money for me you know it's not the money it's what i can get with the money i've changed my mindset to that and a lot of people are probably like girl that don't even make sense just say you want the money but no it makes sense and it makes a difference to me I feel more comfortable saying I want what I can get with the money instead of I want the money. You know, because you can get the money, but then be sick because you can't get too much with it. But, like, I want what I can get with finance. I can't explain it right now. I'm not in the mindset for that. Yeah, I do want to be wealthy. And I want to, like, end. I want to end hunger. I want to end people and poverty i want to end all of that like i feel like it's no reason anybody should be hungry it's no reason anybody should be in poverty i remember um 
hearing something about like the trees i never knew there was such thing as a male and a female tree but it makes sense because as a woman we give birth to things right so like they're saying like some trees you see grow fruit and some don't produce fruit so apparently like they dug up most of the trees that produce fruit which is really sad because like y'all but it makes sense though because think about it if trees produce fruit and they're out here you know just out here for anyone to have access to we could all be eaten no one will ever be hungry because we will always have food around us because we have the plants that produce the food right but like if they're all gone then we're forced to buy the fruit that usually the tree will produce for us for free you get what i'm you get where i'm going with that like that's so messed up like i feel like they just want us to you know what it is but yeah I want to end all of this. I want to be so wealthy where I can just help other people. That's huge for me. You know, I I can honestly say I, I had it pretty good, like, growing up. Like, my um, parents who adopted me, they made sure I was well taken care of. I just ended up going through things and yada, 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 and kind of messed it up. Not kind of, I messed it up. But I'm just grateful, like, I know that it's possible to be like stable you know like now i'm in a place where i'm trying to get back to that but on my own this time dang y'all need to get my computer fixed or get a new one so that i can um upload the videos to my computer and have them there because i'm running out of storage on my phone and i'm always buying storage y'all know how to block block apple off of cash app because they keep on trying to take money out my account that i do not have and they don't even tell you what they're taking money out your account for. They just be like, Apple. Once I find out how to block them, it's a wrap. For real. Because you're not about to keep trying to take my money that I don't have. Like, stop, really stop playing with me. Stop playing with me, for real. I know what it's like to, like, struggle. And I know what it's like to not struggle. So, being said, I really prefer to be on a side where I'm not struggling. But I want everybody, like, it's enough for everybody in this world, for real it really is and you really just kind of got to get it how you can get it like in a positive way of course but yeah you just got to get it how you can get it y'all but um yeah so my ultimate goal is to be very much rich very much wealthy live a good life i want my son to not have to worry about nothing like honestly i feel like nobody's supposed to work oh oh boo boo tomato 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 yeah whatever i feel like no one is supposed to be working a literal job like you know how back then people would have trades like okay i know how to knit okay i have a garden okay if i give you sweaters for the winter will you provide my family with food stuff like that like okay i know how to fix stuff if i fix this will you provide my family with this that's how it's supposed to continue to be but we didn't got i don't know if we got colonized like now we all sitting up here struggling to live and gotta pay for air to breathe and all kind of stuff and it's not okay like we're literally listening to these regular smegular people out here like just because they got a, a degree and a ged and all of that kind of stuff and went to this college and, yada, 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 and got all this money don't mean that they're the best people for us to look up to period like that's what people have to really understand like i ain't gonna lie i do not pay attention to the news for real unless it pop up on my instagram or something i'm just looking at it but it makes me so sad and i don't like being sad so i try not to pay too much attention to it i don't care for no freaking president they don't be changing nothing they don't be making anything better for them. some people be like oh yeah they made a difference they made it better yada 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 but for real they really didn't they really didn't what would make this world better is if we went to not having to pay for pay to freaking live on earth like i understand like paying for houses and stuff like that like paying for our homes and stuff like that we all be for real if we all used our talents and all use trades and stuff like that we could really help each other and be there for each other and make the world so much better like people will rarely be in poverty rarely i want to make it to where like nobody's in poverty like i swear i'm gonna when i when i get because i will indeed be a millionaire a billionaire a zillionaire whatever it's called up there with at least like i'm gonna have money for real and once i do i'm going to make sure that i help whoever i can help. but yeah i'm just gonna make sure that like i can help as many people as possible and not just where i'm at not just in the state that i'm in i'm talking about all over the united states because this is ridiculous like this is not fair to anybody like it's no reason 
there is absolutely no reason that I should have to bruh listen I take accountability for my actions like yes I should have waited to have a child not that I do you know like was like oh yeah it's a good time to have a child no no but I'm saying like I should have been more mindful and careful because now I'm in a situation where now all I really want to do is get myself up get my place get my car get everything I want to get and start all of my hustle so that my son can have wealth as well so he don't have to worry about nothing so he can be comfortable and secure you know what I mean like I should have been more mindful of that but it's really sad that nowadays when something like this happens oh you got to try to find somewhere to stay you got to try to find help and support you got to find a way to like have clothes on your child's back yada 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 now like I said thankfully I do you know he has people who love him so he's good he's good you know but I feel like as a mother it's so much more that I need to be doing which is very true and that I do want to be doing for him so I have to find a way and it's just sad that like okay I want to go I want to go work right I have to work for my money right now I have to work for whatever so I can get my car and my house okay cool yada yada but once I go to work right what I have to do I have to leave my child behind leaving my child behind means what I'm gonna miss out on whatever you know advances that he may be making in life whatever the growth the progress da 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 and it's sad because some people can't even leave their child with their family they have to put the child in daycare now if you're for daycare that's great you know be all for I mean of course I want my child to meet more children and stuff like that and he will do that but as of right now i don't just the world we live in i don't trust daycare i just don't do it because anything could happen and i'm not saying necessarily just like the daycare teachers but you don't know how your child's being treated there you know you really don't know how your child is being treated anything could happen god forbid anything's happens with these daycares and these schools you know but like it's anything happen and i just really want to protect my son from that kind of stuff so i'm trying to be like as hands-on with him as possible I want to juggle everything. If that means I have to juggle going to school and him being in my lap feeding, I will do it. If that means I have to work from home and him being in my lap feeding, I will do it. You know what I mean? Because I know he's safe with me. Now, don't get me wrong. Anything can happen while we're at home, too. That's very true. But I'd rather him be with me. If that, You know what I mean. If you a mother, you get what I'm saying. I want to put it into not only me not being stable and me not being... Um, you know, me wanting to be more comfortable where I am and me also wanting to provide generational wealth for my family from this point forward, um, but also for other people. Like, it's not fair. This is completely unfair to me. And I don't know what world it is that we live in where people think this is just the normal. This isn't normal. Wake up. This is not normal. This is not how life should be for us. Point blank, period. I don't care what nobody says. Boo, boo, tomato, tomato. This is not how life is supposed to be for us. We're not supposed to be suffering like this. We should not be depressed. We should not be sad. We should not have to worry about feeding ourselves. None of this is supposed to be like this at all. At all. Run for president in 2024 because by then I should be a billionaire. And when I run for president, everybody can vote for death. Vote for death. Woo, woo, woo. But the crowd goes wild. <sighs> because I'm going to put an end to all of this watch and when i become president i don't even want what's the other the other people i need to go back to school y'all the branches and the congress and all of them i want to make every single decision that there is that needs to be made i want to pass every single bill myself with my own eyes all of that i don't need nobody else for none of that stuff it's just gonna be me me running the united states because i'm gonna run it right okay okay i'm gonna be like i'm telling y'all and people make it seem like, oh, it's going to be so bad. Like, a lot of the issues that we have today in this world come from another issue that we have. Come from something that somebody was like, oh, yeah, let's do this. But it created this issue that now became something bigger than what they, they expected it to be. And now it's just completely out of control. I can't stand Earth. Oh. Anywho, y'all. Yeah, this is literally ridiculous. But I'm running for president. Don't worry. I'm going to be here for everybody. I'm going to fix it. I will make it right. Y'all just have to be on my side. And if you're not on my side, then you will up, period. You was up. And there's nothing I can do about that. You still gonna eat, though. I don't treat nobody different. But you still up. But be on my side, though.
be on my side i guess that's a good little insight of how i think and but that's just one topic i'm i'm i don't want to say i'm crazy but i i feel like i think different than what people expect me to think i have different beliefs than people expect me to have but we can get into all of that i just wanted this video to be a little about me video a little insight into me and my world and what i want for myself um ultimate goal is peace and happiness period i can say i'm happy i am happy i'm at peace most of the time sometimes i get a little stressed out a little irritated just because i do wish my circumstances were different not when it comes to my child but just wish i was in a better position um you know as far as having my own like who don't want their own you know like i don't have a car right now so i don't really go anywhere and i haven't started my job yet y'all know i did just get hired at uh the stuff down the street the corner stuff so i'll be starting that i'm not sure when but it's really all it's me i actually enjoy doing this i don't lie y'all even if i don't get the views and stuff like that i enjoy doing it but i would like to get paid doing it too because it is something i enjoy so no matter what you know when i do it i'm doing it for my joy not just because oh it pays the bills like i don't think i would ever get tired of doing youtube i don't think i would ever get tired of this vlogging and stuff like that you know because it's just i always wanted to do this as a kid i'm kind of in a phase where i'm like trying to heal my inner child and do things that i always used to do as a kid that made me happy or i used to want to do as a kid that i didn't really start doing you know when it when i became of age or whatever but yeah doing some so this is like you know a little healing self-healing or whatever vote for me for president for 2024 that girl period if you guys have questions like if you want to know about me if you want to know anything about me if you want to talk about a specific topic let me know inbox me take you know me personally i'm sure you know more than likely unless you just really came to support me like from tiktok or something because sometimes i ask tiktok to support me tiktok will really support you like if it reached the right people it will support you and i love that like tiktok is somewhere where we kind of all do come together this generation low-key and i like that and i wish i had more support like one thing i know for sure is the people the people that i know personally they support me to an extent some of them only support me to an extent like they do like you know little support here and there whatever but like you know how they say your hometown supports you the least that's so true but it's okay though because this is gonna go further than my hometown this is gonna get further than michigan and i'm definitely cool with that like anywho though if y'all have like any questions or topics y'all want to talk about let's get into it because i be wanting stuff to talk about i mean it's a lot of stuff i can talk about i just feel like sometimes it's a little too early in my vlogging experience to start talking about stuff like that but we can talk about anything like i give great relationship advice i give great advice period i might be single right now but it don't mean i don't I, that's why i have good advice because i've been through relationships and i've learned from them so you know and this i'm not one-sided i'm not a one-sided woman i swear i'm not a one-sided woman like i can give advice that could really help you as a person outside of relationships just know i've done a lot of self-work and um a lot of self-evaluation and i've made a lot of changes within myself and i can look back on the old me and i do it quite often and i smile at me now because i'm like it took me a while to get where i am but i'm happy i got here you know so and yeah if you guys ever want to talk about anything there's literally no subject there's not really any subject that we can't really touch base on my school not that kind of school at least this is destiny's world welcome but yeah y'all anywho i gotta find a way to get some more storage on my phone because i know i'm running out but for all of those of you who have been watching thank you so much for watching and being a support to me please subscribe if you haven't already because of course i want the subscribers i want to make money from this if i can make money doing this what i'm actually enjoying doing i want to do it so subscribe continue to watch my videos share it with somebody something of that sort um and we'll get more you know we'll get more rowdy around these parts 
once I start getting more viewers and subscribers and stuff like that, it's gonna get lit. It's already lit. Y'all just, I'm just not unwinding yet. Y'all gotta turn me up. You gotta turn me up. I ain't gonna unwind just off rip. You feel me? I mean, I'm always turned. Like, I'm lit right now, but y'all can't even tell. Like, I'm really turned up. But you can't tell, because I'm just, I'm trying to be chill. You feel what I'm saying? But turn me up, though. What y'all turn me up on purpose? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you done it now, you stink up. But yeah. Anyways, y'all. People probably looking at me outside that window like, what is this girl doing on Thanksgiving? Vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> My baby is down here asleep in nature. As he should be Wakanda forever. Okay, anyway, let me go. Somebody take my phone. I'll talk to y'all later. Please like and subscribe and share with a friend. And comment below and let me know. And yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all be smooth out here now.